everybody. Welcome to another uh, Battletech Alpha Strike Battle Report. I'm Michael J. Hey, hey. Um, and I got the Battletech Universe book this past week, and it made us go, why don't play some Battletech? Why don't play some Battletech? Why don't we play some Battletech? I like that game. That I like that rad. game. Yeah, and you were painting Snords. Yeah. And I was painting my Merrick's Militia. Yeah. And so what I did was I did a little history dive because I had my Battletech Universe book to like look around and figure out what are other fun engagements and battles we could do that aren't just the ones from the source books. Right, because the ones from the source books tend to be very like prescriptive. You have to use the yep. mechs that were there and all that stuff. But there's lots of fun things that happen in the history of BattleTech that you can then just recreate. So, for instance, what we're doing today for today's battle report is uh, Merrick's militia is currently trying to stop you guys from raiding a Steiner base because you guys are, or sorry, for protecting a Steiner base. We are trying to raid a Steiner base because you guys are hiding the fact that you uh, have like basically a bunch of lost tech that you shouldn't have. By pretending to steal it from the Torians. <laughs> so, yeah. And we also want to experiment with a new battle tactic in case someone else comes to fight us soon. Yeah. So, so we have a plan. So Merrick's trying to expose you. So for this game, we're trying to expose the fact that you have the Steiner hangers that you guys are, because you're working for the Steiner Lirans right now. These, these hangers are full of lost tech that you have not revealed to Comstar. Uh, and we're basically trying to narc you out. So in this game, there's a bunch of hangers. Those hangers will be full of uh, of lost tech mechs. And if we can secure those hangers, then we can prove that you guys have stuff that you shouldn't have. I also need to make sure you have no survivors so that you don't tell on any of the stuff. That's that exactly I it. might be walking around That's with. That's exactly it. We got to get some photos and leave. Um, so this is act one. Act two, we're going to have a game against the Torian Concordat where you guys basically pretend to steal things. You do like an Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> you pretend to steal a bunch of parts to be like, yeah, yeah, we have this the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It was like that when I got here. After the comms got good done. That's a, that's a game for another day. So we'll show you the table. We'll show you the forces and we'll get this underway. All right. So in this raid into Liran territory, the militia have sent two lances worth of guys. We have a heavy battle lance. Um, it has a Marauder 3R in it, a Victor 9B, and then everyone's favorite, most useless battle mech, the Banshee 3M. It's got, it's not great. I'm going to turn that thing's head around like an owl. It has a lot of armor. It has no neck. I don't know how you're going to do that. It literally doesn't have a neck. And then I have my Grasshopper, which is not aptly named. I don't know why you would call a, a size four uh, battle mech or size three battle mech a, uh, a, a, a Grasshopper. Because it's bouncy bouncy. I guess it does jump eight inches. Jump it out. Uh, jump then we got out. in the light battle lance or medium battle lance, sorry, we have a trebuchet. It's a 5S, a Centurion AL uh, Jenner D, and then a Griffin 1N. And that is my two lances. So but with these lances, they're each going to get lucky, uh, meaning they get five rerolls each. Uh, the red dice will be for the uh, heavy battle lance. The medium will be the green dice. All right, so here is Jay's, uh, I guess, star, weirdly, of Rhonda's. Uh, yeah, we're, we're practicing some new tactics that we might need for when we're done finishing off the Merrick crew. Yeah, this is Rhonda's Irregulars here. They've been uncovered in this Liren uh, depot, riding around in some conspicuously not super inner sphere available battle mechs. We like to think of them as vintage. Yep. They're uh, vintage, they're collectibles. They're collectibles. <laughs> we, don't know, we don't know where these came from, but they look weird, so we're gonna try and get scans of them and get off the table. So what do you got here? Uh, so we'll go from uh, left to right. So we've got David Rausch in his guillotine. Uh, I believe it's pronounced guillotine. <laughs> guillotine. <laughs> uh, next to him in the Crockett is Shorty Sneed, who's substantially upgraded from the Franken mech to yeah. the Crockett. Yeah, the Crockett is a. I mean, that thing actually looks futuristic as opposed to the, the Franken mech, which is a literal junkyard dog. Exactly. Uh, in the center is. My favorite, Rhonda, in her her pink heavy metal Highlander. It's pretty great. I will I will not I will not fault your painting on these. This is fantastic. Uh, next to her is your your favorite, which is Deb Hachu, who used to cruise around in her Thunderbolt. Yep. Uh, she's in the Exterminator. And on the far side is John Malvinson in the Lancelot. And these are wonderful. Uh, Lost Tech Max, which would only be available to Comstar. So the story here, of course, is uh, if you don't know the background of Snord slash Rhonda's Irregulars and, of course, Wolf's Dragoons, it is revealed at one point that Wolf's Dragoons are a plant into the human sphere as a prelude to the clan invasion. Um, and they've got with them a bunch of Lost Tech Mechs. Now, when uh, the, uh, the Dragoons and the Irregulars part ways, it's actually a secret mission from Jamie Wolf to Snore to try and find more old lost tech technology and secure it so that the human sphere can get their hands on it and resist the clan invasion that's about to happen in about like five years. 
We're right at the cusp of the clan invasion. It's late succession wars right now. It's five minutes to midnight. It is. Um, and the militia, who is the perennial, uh, I guess, like, uh, like bad guy to, the, the, to Snord and his irregulars, have uncovered this depot that has some of these mechs that are being painted up in preparation for, um, for I guess, other nefarious purposes. Snord says, has started to mobilize some of their not, cash. Not of nefarious. Lost you know, we're just... Well, this, this, you are trying to cover up the fact that we've discovered this now to the point where uh, all of these militiamen need to die before they can scan you off the table. And then you need to do a, a false flag to try and f figure out where these mechs did come from um, and, and have a, a, a reliable story as to who you stole them from in the future. We just found them. They were like this when we got here. We just found them. Yeah, Comstar's, Comstar's uh, uh, I guess, quartermasters are currently trying to count how many guillotines and, uh, and crockets they have. I can't believe how careless you are with those Highlanders with the double Gauss rifles, that's just <laughs> yeah. dumb. <laughs> here is the Liren Depot. You can see here there are three mech bays. Jay is gonna get to uh, deploy all of his mechs within one inch of those front doors. And then my Merrick's Militia gets to deploy within eight inches of this corner over here as they advance into the Liren position. Now our goal is to disable a mech get within six of it and spend a combat action scanning it, then get off the table. If we can do that, we can prove the irregulars have access to this lost tech that they shouldn't have. Um, and and basically like out them to Comstar, which is just gonna be a problem. We'll share with you, just come closer. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. Um, and you guys, of course, as you are out basically testing these things out, are trying to prevent that from happening. So the game's gonna last five turns. Um, if you, if I still have a mech active on the table that can move um, and has access, it has one of these scans, I will win the game. If you've either killed me <coughs> to a man um, or killed anyone that has a scan at the end of that game, then you will win. Boy, my commander is my Banshee. Uh, it's Commander Militia Militiason over here. Uh, and Ron, of course, is the commander of Snords. Um, and you've deployed. She's, I like how she gets her own mech bay. Yeah. I mean, it is a Highlander. No helpers. The other ones can't really fit in there. No helpers. Yeah, no helpers. She's easily her. as armed as any two other mechs I have on the table. That's true. Oh. And one of the things you pointed out is in your actual like tech specs, this guy right here as the exterminator. Yes. Um, he actually has like an anti-scanning system. He's hard to lock onto. Yeah, he's she. Sorry, is basically out. a stealth mech that uh, that hunts down other enemy commanders and stuff in the background. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that she can only be scanned within three inches because she's hard to lock onto. Uh, lines drawn. It's time to roll for some initiative with two dice. I got a six. I got a six. Oh, I got a five actually, because I can't add. <laughs> so you win. Would you like to? Oh, I guess that means that I have to move first. Eight mechs in my two lances to your five in your. Star question mark? Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> I get to move uh, one to one to one. And as soon as you have three, I'll be doing two to one because we'll we'll get off the track here. So I'm gonna go with my Victor. He's gonna walk eight over to here with ground speed. TMM of one. That's a lot. Who can move 12? Look at you and your speedy, fast, lost tech max. But he's gonna move less than 12, but he's gonna saddle up to the side of that building. Draw bead, if you will. But uh, the Midnight Marauders, we maraud for ears. Uh, we're going to maraud over this away. Also going one. Boop, team up. You. Back to me. I think it's time to get ready to start exterminating. Uh, so we're going to exterminate our way. That's seven. And then, yeah. Exterminator's also 12. Oh, dear. I'm going to call my commander, Commander Keegan. As in Barry Keegan, as in Banshees of Insurance, because I just know how to make references and that's all I know how to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go eight over to here, because my brain is wired for pop culture. And Barry, Hopper of Grass is gonna do hop, a hip, a hop, a hop, the hippity. Oh, we tricked you into coming onto a battlefield with no grass. That's right. It's Your so advantage strange. is removed. I know I've lost all my home, home field advantage. Two right now, so. Yeah. Was Rhonda gonna go? Or are we gonna go with Crockett or Guillotine? Uh, so I think we're gonna go with the Guillotine. Oh no, I like that this is the thing you can do with these now. Is he going to perhaps jump around? He's going to jump around. He's going to bring you to the house of pain. <laughs> jump up, jump up and get down. Oh, come dun, here, base. Dun, dun, I said dun. come here, base. How about this? Everlast. Your command, the Centurion's going to walk his eight over to this thing. Take some cover. Second each. up, we're going to go with the Griffin. Ten and just hide behind this building because he is part of the rapid response. What you got, Crockett? I'm going to... Well, I got tubs. I was gonna say, where's tubs at? Last two, uh, we're gonna go with uh, the trebuchet first. Sprint 15, so he's gonna go eight. And then from that little rock, he's gonna go seven more and end up Oof. behind here. Look at you. Or plus three. And then, uh, I don't know if you know this, but generators are fast. Yeah, we're gonna generate over to here. 
sir. So I have to fire first because you. Oh, I'm not done moving. Oh, I forgot about Rhonda. I. Uh, the Highlander is not fast. No, it's not. It moves six. The Highlander is here to punish the interlopers. I like that you wrote on it to. What does it say? Money metal. Heavy metal. Heavy metal on the on the auto cannons. Uh, and then yeah, what is it? It's. Elv it's Elvis lives on the front, and yeah. it's heavy metal on the larger of the two Goss rifles. Amazing. Not the snub nose Goss. It's rifle. like we got some targets acquired over here, so we're gonna start firing. I'm gonna start with my Victor. So my Victor's gonna stare down at this little fellow over here. The Lancelot. The Lancelot. The Boston uh, Red Sox Lancelot. That's it. So he's got four damage. Um, he is skill three. It's gonna be four five for range, six for cover, and your TMM is two. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so nines to hit. That's a nine. There Four and a five is nine. So that's going to be four damage. Ooh. Same range, same target. Skill three as well. He'll do three damage at this range. Do I want to overheat? I think I do. I want to overheat once. Put me at four. Nine. Oh my God. Same thing. Four more damage. Oh, oh he's down. Fantastic. All right. So we can scan his corpse if we get close Malvinson, enough. Malvinson, you piece. <laughs> he was the weaker brother. We attacked him first. Uh, then it's Centurion O'Clock. Uh, we're going to shoot the Crockett, I think, because we have him in line of fire. Centurion does a whole two damage at this range, also needing a nine from being skilled for. I don't know why I'm just able to roll nines today. So take, so you take two damage. He's TMM one. Okay. Got it. So uh, same thing over here. Uh, this is my Banshee. So I'm skilled two on my Banshee, shooting the Crockett. I also only do two damage. Overheat once uh, to make it three, because you never know. Two, three, four for range, five for cover, six for your TMM. If I can land this for three damage. Take this Crockett. I got you with a 10. But you bought me these dice, so I feel less bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. um, Wait a minute, let me just turn them off. That's right. There we go. There we go. <laughs> take, take the luck out of them. Um, I think the last my cheating can, unit malfunction. That's my cheating unit malfunction. It's just my grasshopper that can see wrong. Four or five for range, uh, and then six for cover, seven for TMM, because I assume Highlanders are ones. Yes, they are ones. Not quite zero. Seven. Seven. No, I missed this time. Do I spend a lucky? This is the grasshopper? Yeah, I'm gonna spend a lucky. Do you feel lucky? I do feel lucky. I need to start doing some damage here. So this is on seven. Lucky, nope. but I did manage to down the Lancelot, which means that it is over to you to return fire. Yes, I would like to revenge myself upon you. That's so right. So what's this, um, the victor? The victor. So we'll start with the Lancelot on the victor. That makes sense. Uh, so mm -hmm. Skill two. Um, three, four for range. Five for TMM. Five for TMN. And then six for cover. Six for cover, and I'm going to overheat for one. Hell yeah, you are. So this is on six. Lucky is your battle, Lance. Battle star. Battle star. Sorry. Battle star shooting at my victor. Oh, that'll do. All right, so take four points of damage. Oof, right in the victor. Okay, that's all but two points of his armor gone. I come back to my exterminator, who okay. is unfortunately at long range. Uh, and she's going to try and put a hurtin' on your victor as well. That tracks. Feel for Deb. Oof. Um, five, like plus four for range. Uh, six for your TMN? Yep. And I think that's, that's six. That's it. I'm in the open. Oh, man, you're going to take a whole point of damage if I hit you. I am. You're going to wish I had Right in the so Marauder. Hard. No, in the uh, victor, sorry. Oh, in the victor, sorry. Yeah. I also take a point of damage. I'm down to one armor left. The big guns come out. So that Banshee. No, not Barry. I don't care for that. Not Barry. So we are going to start off with Shorty in okay. the Crockett. Uh oh. So he's skill two. Yep. Uh, three, four for range. Uh huh. And I, do, I don't think, even think you'll cover from him. Well, if this stuff, remember, covering oh, battle tank right. is just anything in the way. So right? five for that. And then what's your TMN? Uh, TMN is one. one TMN so is banshee. six. Yeah. Four points of damage. Oh, you sure did. So you can take four points of oh, damage. Oh, dear. Uh, luckily, banshees are equipped with eight points of armor. So that's half my armor gone. See that trend? Rhonda yep. is going to shoot at you with her two Goss rifles. I'm not, I'm not loving this. So, On its face, this seems like it's going to be bad. So it is this time. She's basically the same, except she's one skill better than Shorty. So Roger. it's going to be a five okay. for six points of damage if she hits. Uh, and that's a five. Okay, well, you're in my six guts. Six points of damage. Roll it. Commander Barry is not doing great. That's two in the guts. So roll me a crit and see what happens. Uh, and look. On an eight. Eight is a weapon hit. All right, so minus one of my damage. My damage goes down to one. <laughs> Doesn't have any long range to shoot at, so who do you want to shoot? Uh, I think you can see my Banshee and you can see my Centurion, and then these guys are probably outside of 24. My Banshee. So the guillotine is skill two, three, four for range, five for cover, six for TMN, seven because I jumped. Barry, no, seven, eight, because he jumped, I think. Oh, seven, eight? Plus two, two? I'll just check. 
And that'll be four more damage. Oh no, I have two boxes left. And I'm in retreat. I'm um, gonna be forced to withdraw. And like it's another crit. gonna immediately leave. Yeah, roll the crit, see what happens. 10? That is 10, which is a fire control hit. It sure is. I have one gun left and I'm only skilled three now. Uh, I put one of yours in the morgue, but you definitely put one of mine in the hospital. So <laughs> that's gonna be, I have less than half my structure remaining. My commander's now in retreat. And two, well, at least we have someone we can potentially scan, although it's on the danger side of the table. Let's see who's going first in round two. That's a five. That's a six. So I have the initiative. We've and traded means, fives and sixes. Uh, you are moving first now. Just because this is just, just, just like stand come. there. <laughs> if you want him, come and claim. This, this is my middle of the table. <laughs> These are my bunkers. I love you <laughs> too much, baby. All right. Well, we're gonna start playing a little more, a little less conversation, a little more action then. Why can't you see? Uh, I have to leave. <laughs> Back to my deployment zone. I'm gonna go eight towards my deployment corner and just be like, uh, no, thank you, because I only have two hits left. Uh, I have my heat on me and I am leaving fast. I'm eight to four right now, so I have to move another one right now. Uh, and I think it's gonna be the victor. He's just gonna come creeping, going up eight, coming in here. I'm ready to party on whoever wants to fight, Rhonda. And that gives me a TMM of a one. It's your turn. It is my turn. I'm going to exterminate. Uh oh, Dalek style. Don't do it. Next, oh no, stairs. Um, How building? No, we'll just jump so we can go further. Ooh, smart. <laughs> you've uh, you've chosen this, so off we go. Uh, we'll actually pivot slightly, be back a bit further, but try and get you there, and have a heat on us. It's. I think we're gonna go with the trebuchet, and we're gonna walk ten, I believe, eight, and then two, and just snuggle up next to the victor. Like you. That. Well, we better get closer so we can do some damage. So we will... Jump? <laughs> Flying Crockett? I love this. I like how you just guys are flexing the fact that your heavy battle necks all can fly. Uh, okay, well, have you guys just thought about flying? <laughs> that would be easier. That would make this way easier. Uh, my Centurion doesn't want to die, so he's going to walk his eight up to here and just snuggle up looking at your guillotine. And the trebuchet is actually a two. I got that wrong. Grasshopper, the pattern is full. You're gonna go over to here and hull down against the crocodile. Guillotine. Right, so we're gonna get rid of that. Flight mode off. That makes me so happy that you can just like flight mode engage, flight mode disengage. We're gonna it looks use so our cool. Walking legs. Yeah, I just wish I had them for everything, man. Right? Honestly. Oh, you're eight, so you're gonna climb down this building. Go for a stroll. Oh dear. I'm to go walk behind this guy, but then Rhonda would just obliterate whatever came out here, which feels like it's a bad idea. I was actually gonna sprint, uh, and that's gonna give him a 21 inch movement. So we're gonna go eight, we're gonna go 16, and then we're gonna go five more and just be behind you, but also not looking at Rhonda. My Griffin, who is just going to sidle up over here, not be able to see Rhonda. Die immediately, but take some shots at this guillotine. Movement complete. So uh, you get to shoot first this time, sir, as you have lost the initiative. Centurion is going to uh, get shot by the guillotine. So, so Centurion over here. he is two, three, four for range, five for cover, and your movement is... My team is one. It's a six So six. Overall. To hit. Well, that's not crazy. There's going to be four <laughs> damage. It sure is. Uh, that is most of my armor. I have two left. Who's next? Who's next indeed? How much armor is left on that victor? Uh, the victor has one armor point left and fantastic. six structure. Oh, six structure. That's less fantastic. Yeah. Okay. He's, he's pretty equally distributed between armor and structure. Victor, okay. So it's going to be two. Am I within 12 yet? Three, four. Because he jumped. Uh, yeah. Uh, five, five, six for range. Six for range. Seven, seven for, for cover. TMM, eight, eight for cover, yeah. So eight. You sure did. And that'll be four points of damage on the victor. <sighs> That's going to be my guts. So one point to the armor, three to the structure, and which means I'm also almost in retreat. And, and what do you get for your critical? A six, which is a weapon hit. All right, so minus one damage. Wanda and the exterminator. Yeah, so I think I'm going to try and exterminate that victor. That tracks. Yeah, let's do that. I just realized that you guys are kind of the G.I. Joes and I'm the Cobra in this. <laughs> I'm even yes. painted like Cobra Troopers. You're painted like Cobra Troopers. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're like that. Okay, just just occurred to me. You guys are you guys are very much the GI. So I'm pretty sure things. this time I'm mean, one, two, three for range, uh, four for your TMN, five for your cover. 
in the victor. That sure and does. That'll be three more damage. Okay, well, that is the rest of my victor. So he is uh, extremely disabled. Fantastic. Right. So it'll be one, two, three for range. Yep. Four for cover. Mm -hmm. And your TMN is? Two. So five, six. But back down to five because you sit still. Right. So this is five. Do it. Oh, Rhonda, That's how much is that? Six, six damage. damage. Oh my God. Uh, my poor trebuchet uh, goes immediately to half critically injured. Roll the critical because it's okay, all the time. critical armor. will be three, three which is an good. engine hit. Oh dear. Plus one heat from firing weapons. Yeah, plus one heat from firing weapons. That was a, once again, I, I like how I kill one and then everyone in my team gets like critically injured. <laughs> uh, it's time to do some funky crime. So with the victor down, I think everyone needs to pour their shots into this exterminator so I can try and get up and make a skill. Uh, try and fire into the exterminator. Um, he's got a skill of three. Uh, you have a TMM of two. Jumped for three. Uh, it's gonna be um, five, six, and then seven, eight for range, nine for cover. So nine overall, I gotta roll the hit here. I'm gonna do four damage if I land it. No, I'm gonna spend a lucky though, try and reroll that, because this is my last shot with him. A lot of time then. The Marauder's gonna heat up again, I think, to go to four damage. As well at this point, three, four, because I was already overheating. Five, six for range, uh, plus your TMM and cover is going to be 10. So a 10 to hit for four damage. Nope. Right. We're pressing our luck here. Come on, nope. you trebuchet, you're about to die. Uh, so you're from- I the... gotta be honest though, that thing, I know it's just a medium mech, but that thing was a nightmare for you when it I was, had it. Yes. Like those things are, those Trebuchets things punch are, hard. They're terrifying. So it'll be the uh, skill four this time. So five, six for range, uh, three for your TMM plus jumping, which is gonna be nine, 10 for cover. Oh my God. Just, just running hot. All right, Centurion's gonna take a shot in his guillotine then. Centurion. Walk away, I'll forget you were there. <laughs> I don't think you will. Um, I will not. <laughs> so <laughs> my uh, Centurion has a skill of three, four, five for range, you're in the open this time. Uh, so six for your team, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna land that one. Uh, that's gonna be two damage. Just skill four this time, five, six for range, seven for your TMM. Uh, and I'm gonna get the rear shot bonus. But I miss, I'm gonna reroll that because I need this guy to get scanned by my Crockett or I'm gonna lose this game. I did, so I do three. Grasshopper into Crockett now. Skill three, four, five for range, six for your TMM, seven because you jumped, eight for cover. I got you. Oof. I know. That's the end of his armor. Oh, well then, from hell's heart, I stab at thee with my banshee eat again, because of course he will, because he's going to die. Why he has I? one damage point right now because he shot his guns off. So uh, he'll be skill three, uh, four, five for range, six for cover, seven, eight for your team. I'm in jumping. Ah, do it. Do oh, it. look at you. Do it. This is your last time shooting. No! Your, your crocket dodged it, leaving now. <laughs> oh. you, mine won't stay on the table. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving out. mine on because you need it as a marker. It, yeah. Three five. Let's see if we can get one of these guys scanned. Initiative. That's you. Oh, it's me against you. are moving first. This impervious exterminator is just going to take a walk. <laughs> you going to jump over there? Oh, man. Okay. Seven, so I'm not quite two to one right now, so I'm just going to exit stage left with my Banshee and be like, bye. I'm going going home. Now I'll have two to your one. Ron is just going <laughs> Ron is just, I like that she's just menacing from the middle of the table, just bullying whatever comes nearby. So not quite dead. It's going to sprint 15. Is it below half? It is not below half. It's a uh, two structure oh, of four left. You. So it's going to sprint over here and hide. It's also going to sprint over here and hide and be like, no, thank you. <laughs> We're just going to go over here and cool off a minute. <laughs> oh no, not my sprinting guys. Oh, Croc is just going to bully me, I guess. That's not what I wanted. Uh, okay. Okay. I see what's happening. Um, I have to make some decisions I don't want to make now. I also don't want to get shot by Rhonda because that's a terrible idea. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go with the Crockett. No, not the Crockett. The Jenner. The Jenner, sorry. And you can keep this together for one more turn. You only get to move eight. So you're just going to make sure you dip behind this building to look at the Crockett only, but stay in its rear arc. Don't, so you're going to go over here. Don't make eye contact with me. That's right. I will slap the here. taste out of your <laughs> you mouth. Definitely son. will. I don't want that. Uh, maybe I'll go over here. Actually, I'm going to have to face down this guillotine, but I I won't have to get shot by the Crockett. Do one more. <sighs> do I just bait you? I think I do. <laughs> Sprint 21 again. <laughs> I'm going to go eight. I'm going to go 16. Just going to go. Banana in the tailpipe and be like, 
I'm over here. Guillotine, come and claim me. Yep. <laughs> no, no, you are. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into it. He jumps? Okay, yes, he jumps. You can tell because of his tactical fire. Uh, okay, well, then it's my last two. I'm just going to give Ronda no target and just back up and back over with these two to stare at the back of this guillotine. Just commands all the open field around her with like, no, I I will not be allowing that to happen. <laughs> so you're shooting first. Uh, your guillotine definitely has targets, as does your crocket. Uh, yes, I forgot about the exterminator. That's right. Long over here with the centurion and the exterminator. So the ex five for range. Yep. Six to seven because you jumped. Six, seven because I jumped. Eight for TMM, nine for cover. So nine total. Lucky? And I'm not going to lucky that because okay. it's only one damage in long range. That's fair. Your Jenner. My Jenner? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> so this is going to be. Uh, can you see my Jenner? Oh, the guillotine. That's right. The guillotine. Here. Yeah. Okay. I keep mixing it. We're definitely short range this time. You sure <laughs> so are. So yeah. we're going to be two. Four because you jumped. Four because I jumped. Uh, that's seven for my TMM, eight for cover. Okay. Do eight. it. That we will. I, I figured you were lucky this. Yep. I mean, if you touch me, I explode. Oh, oh, we live. That's yeah, so disappointing. Baby. No guts, no glory. And yeah. The I mean, I have, I have two damage left on the trebuchet. And what? Uh, the martyr hasn't been touched yet. Okay. He's fully healthy. He's got then six I, armor and six. Then I guess we'll try and kill off the trebuchet. That tries. Three, four, because I jumped. Yep. Five, six for range. Seven for cover. And what's your TMN on the trebuchet? Trebuchet is two, so nine. Eight, nine. Going for it. Oh, yeah. Finish him off. Oh, yeah. You don't save him for later. <laughs> no, no. That's right. That's, that's, that's the not shooting my, is half the battle. not my way. <laughs> shooting is half the battle. There oh, you go. no. So that's four damage for goodbye, that uh, goodbye, trebuchet. trebuchet. I'm tired if this is the case. He's he's done. He's not shooting anyway because he sprinted. Well, the only way we're going to win this is with back shooting. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the spirit. Actually, that crock, it's not in great shape. It's not in great shape. That was the whole that was the whole play here. So I need to bait out some guys, uh, let some guys die, <laughs> and then hopefully kill this uh, crock. Centurion in the back. Uh, he's going to be damaged two, three for your rear shot. Now, you jumped, so I'm skill three, uh, zero for range, uh, four, five, six, because you jumped, are you, are you two or one? No, team? I'm just one TMN, just basic, one, okay. so it's one, two. Okay, so three, uh, four for cover, five, six. And we got you for three damage. For three, that's and that's... Five, five, that's nothing. Five is and no nine critical. is nothing, yeah. It's Griffin o'clock, four, you're in the open this time, so five, uh, six for range, seven, eight for jumping in TMM. Come on, Griffin! Uh, we're going to spend a reroll on that. Give me that sweet, sweet hit on an eight. Oh, skill of four. All right, well, then it's Grasshopper time. Uh, Grasshopper is going to be skill three, uh, four, five for range, six, seven for your jumping in TMM. And that one we land for five damage. Five will finish him off. Oh, we did it. He's down. Scannable object now there with the Centurion nearby. I'm shooting, everybody else ran. I am, because I did not shoot this turn though, gonna get to bleed all the heat off of my Marauder. Really as many to be running out. This is true, you have three left? I have, I have left on the table. I have five left, yeah. You have the initiative though, so I gotta move first. Possibilities to scan with, so I'm gonna actually uh, walk my Marauder, so I can go 10 over here, so eight. And then put my back to this wall. And be like, I'm off scan. <laughs> Just gonna jump on the roof. <laughs> okay, I can see how that will work. Uh, I'm gonna ride that thing like a pony. <laughs> I think you are. Um, so now I've got, you've got two remaining and I've got one, two, three, four remaining. So I have to yep. activate two now. Uh, and that's not great for me. So what I'm gonna do is, it's gonna be running, I think. Uh, and we're gonna run 21. So we're gonna, oh yeah, that's what keeps it alive. So it's gonna be eight, 16, and then five. Man, but I can bait shots. That's what we can do here. We gotta, we gotta get the intel out of here. People have to know, the people have to know. The grasshopper's still alive, but he does not want to fight Ronda. <laughs> grasshopper is going to, because my grasshopper only does one damage at long range. So I think we're gonna, I think we're just gonna take it for the team. We're just gonna move into the middle and be like, sure, fight me. Yours. I do actually still need that. Back up. <laughs> hey, remember me? Yeah, but he can jump 10. I think we're just going to walk, though, and walk out to here. Just to be in cover, but see the skeleton. Move over to here. Are you able to see this thing? I have to move, I think, to here. 
and then Rhonda might be able to see me, but I'm gonna try and move here so I can scan. That's be like, uh, hello, <laughs> no thank you. Uh, it's, I have to shoot first. So first things first, I'm gonna get my combat action with both my Marauder and my Centurion to scan the Crockett and scan the Lancelot. I was gonna shoot this Jabroni. Three, mm -hmm. um, four, five for range, six, cause you jumped, seven, eight for TMM or just seven? Seven. Come on, Grasshopper. We gotcha for four. Two, three, four. Critical hit says boxcars. Twelve is mech destroyed. Oh no! I shot you right through Bop. the cockpit. Bam! Headshot. I mean, no point in shooting now with the Griffin. So he's just done, uh, and that's it. Back. So the guillotine, yeah, is just going to shoot at the grasshopper. That tracks. Because there's nothing else for him. Recover and TMN. That's it. TMN one. Six. So six. So six, six, six for the grasshopper. You could definitely have seen my. Um, Griffin as well. Oh, well, fair enough. Uh, no! no. Gonna spend it as well? Yeah. It's his last shot of the game. But with being, with having his cockpit caved in by the um, by the, the grasshopper. I'm surprisingly impressed with the grasshopper, to be honest. No! Oh, of course! But Centurion. <laughs> Centurion's, the Centurion's not, not loving so seeing So one, Rhonda. two, three yep. for range, four for cover, and your TMN is? Uh, one, I believe, for a Centurion. It's going to be six points. That's all my remaining armor <laughs> structure. So the scan goes poorly. He begins scanning and then just is no longer alive. Um, want to shoot the Jenner? You want to shoot the... Oh, I think I want to shoot the Jenner. Well, the Jenner's not scanning because it sprinted this turn, remember? So it's not going to have any... Oh, info. sorry. Okay, then no. So I'm going to shoot the Marauder. So I am one... Two, three, because I jumped. Yep. Four for your TMN. Yep. And then that's it. You got me with an eight. That's going to be four damage. It's plus one, yeah. Two yep. armor remaining. We successfully scanned. So the Marauder is now carrying a scan of the Victor. He's dead. <laughs> Super dead. High. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, okay. So we are now into round four. There's two rounds remaining after this. Let's roll some initiative and see who's going first. A four. I'll see that with an eight. So you are moving first, sir. So you like, gonna, you should not have pass. You're going to just wait for you to come back around. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's... I can sprint like 15. You're so fast. That's what I want to do. That's fair. Remaining to my four. Mm -hmm. So I need to activate, because I won the initiative roll, so I always have last move. So I need to activate three, then you activate one, then I activate then one. You do your last. See, we're just going to cross this gap and go scan this guillotine. To this guy. So we're just going to walk eight over to here to stare down your uh, exterminator. Can't scan the same one more than once. So I think what I'm going to do is go with my Janner just in case I need to scan something again. And we'll sprint one more time and hide behind this rock because it's bigger than I am. <laughs> She's going to go three and then three. Uh oh, my poor Janner. <laughs> See, there's there's the running game, and then there's the fighting game, and my Marauder chooses violence. Oh, I'm not going to run. Fantastic. I'm going to choose violence instead. I choose violence on Ronda. We are now into the combat action phase, so you get to go first. Jenner? One, two, three for range, uh, four for cover. Yep. And then your TMN is four. Three. Oh, three. So Spring does not. Spring does not do it. Just jumping. So it's a seven. Yep. Six damage. Uh, so the general only has five boxes, so the general just ceases to exist. Its tap dance is over. The extra manner is going to shoot the grasshopper. That tracks. Because I jumped six for cover, and what's your seven for TMN? Seven for yeah. TMN. Seven's dead the grasshopper. Oh, yeah, you do. That'll be, and that'll be an auto three crit. Three damage. And an auto crit. So three damage is I got four armor left. And a crit. Draw it again. Is seven is a movement point hit. Oh no, half my movement. Okay. You for your back shot. It is. Well, first things first, I'm going to scan this. Um, oh, this marauder is going to shoot Rhonda in the back. One, because why not? Uh, I'm skill three, zero for range, uh, but I'm only three damage. Four because I overheated because I'm short range, worse damage. And but, I'm one for TMM. So five for your TMM. That's oh, right, three, four for TMM. Oh, I sure got you. Perhaps four damage. Okie doke. Yeah, two plus I overheated plus one, uh, one for the two, rear. Three, four. And then uh, that's that, I think. Oh, my grasshopper can shoot at your um, exterminator. Well, even skill three, four, five for range, six for cover, seven, eight, nine for TMM because he jumped. Okay, so just an eight. 
I gotcha. Four damage. Four? Ooh, that's a lot. Final that's turn. Cool. I've achieved a scan on the Grasshopper, and I'm holding a scan on the Marauder as well. So this is the final turn of the game. I really need to win this initiative. You sure do. A five. five's not looking great. That's a seven. Where are you going, Rondo? Choose violence? Oh, I'm not doing Rondo yet. Oh, okay. Um, Exterminate. I just bats. You're like, <laughs> just fight the world. how much of this nonsense we can see. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I'm remaining to my three, so I'm moving one. I have one remaining to your three. One remaining to my three, so I'm moving two, then you're moving one, then I'm moving one. Um, okay, so I'm sprinting, uh, so I'm going 15, so eight, and then seven more, and being like, no thanks, we took pictures. Door. <laughs> it's over to you. Nope, you had three. Uh, I, had one, so I you do have, have a marauder. One. The marauder needs to be the one to move last, I think. My grasshopper is just going to move up to this cover because then I could also scan the crocket if I needed to. Move that far. My bad. I can only move four because you broke my legs. Good. And then two. And Come see the grasshopper. Go. Come see the grasshopper. Just go in the back. <laughs> just go shoot you in the back. Right. Uh, it is your shoot o'clock. You got Rhonda shooting. You got the enforcer or the exterminator shooting. So, yeah. You can both see my grasshopper. The exterminator is going to shoot the grasshopper. So this is one. This just feels petty, just so you know. Two, this feels like it's three. Just petty. Oh yeah, I, I'm getting nothing out of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just, was just mad. I just want to see his head come off. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so this is one, two, three, because I jumped. Four, five for range. Six for your TMN. Six. All right, let's do it. Uh, so. Oh yeah. That's a hit. So that'll be three points of damage. Uh, Grasshopper is now down to one point of armor. And then I will shoot the grasshopper. Rondo, I will have one point left. <laughs> oh, he has seven left? Yeah, he has one armor and six structure left. Holy crap. He's a size three. He's big. No, I know he's big. I didn't realize he had that much. Okay. So she is going to be um, one, two, three, four for your TMN. Yep. It's going to be four. Okay. <laughs> sure. Either way. Sure did. Take six damage. <laughs> I did. I have, oh, I have one left. Come on, crit. Give me that crit. So what are we looking box for? Cards. We're looking for two or 12. I have energy weapons, so it has to be 12. Oh, it has to be 12. It has to be a box card. Okay, no problem. 12, here we go. Just box card. No! Eight is so a weapon close. hit. Yeah, and weapons are down. Uh, I guess I just shoot back for spite into the exterior. <laughs> in the back, skill three, uh, four, five for range, six, seven for your TMM, eight because you jumped, nine for cover. I will, however, and I've overheated, so 10. So I will do four damage, and I'll overheat again for five, just in case. 10! Nope. Give me that sweet, So five will do it, roll. even without the crit roll. I know. 10. Oh! oh! Shot in the back. And then the grasshopper for spite shoots Rhonda. Skill three, four, five for range, six for TMM, because you are out of cover, five out of cover. I sure gotcha. Uh, so that's gonna be four damage. Four, one, two, three, four. All right, so at the end of it all, Rhonda stands proud, but the Marauder and the Griffin got pitchers. So Rhonda desperately has to come up with a cover story now as to why they have lost tech mechs. It was yours. It was, it was, no, why'd no, you guys have them? No, why'd we, you guys have them? We took that shit. <laughs> Merrick's just here paparazzi just taking pictures. Well, so we're off to J. Jonah Jameson to go take him the pictures of these weird mechs that you have. You got a problem now, Rhonda. You got no, a problem. You got I, a you got a, a marketing problem. I went to all the effort to paint that pink camouflage on. I thought that would hide <laughs> me, like it would make it harder for you to find me. Did you imagine that's what the Lyran like place was? It was just a giant spray booth like Grand Theft Auto, and you were you were you had five stars. You had to go in and get yourself just, sprayed. Just freeze up against the yeah, wall. That's right. Yeah, you come in a different color, and then the stars go away. Stop blinking. <laughs> you know what I'm hoping is that when the pictures get out, everybody will be just like, no, nobody. Nobody, there's no pink. There's no That's way. Not a thing. There's no way. These are these are Photoshop. This is this is fake news. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so so you guys have a real PR problem now, which actually fits the story. So that's what's fun about doing these like dig into the background a little bit and then play a game based on it. Is at the late succession war, this is before the clan invasion. You guys are getting ready to reveal what's going on with Snords, right? This plan that that Jamie Wolf and Cranston Snord had is kind of coming to fruition. And you guys are the cover story for all of this Lost Tech stuff right. inside the Wolf's Dragoons. So being outed basically leads to this operation you have to have where you go into Victorian space. And this is where it gets apocryphal a little bit in the stories. Like it, it's it's not it's not in like a tech readout. It's like referenced in like background material and stuff like that and yep. shrapnel and places like that. But basically you go into Victorian Concordat and you, you do a fake raid on like a like a it's not even a comstar place i think it's just like a lost tech research facility or something like that to get the plans or get to get the material to be able to be like no we had this the whole time like 
before the pictures get out and Merrick outs you, you have to like but, do this. But that was an empty building. We were just storing boxes in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's unfortunately, there's proof now that you guys have these mechs. So our next installment, you'll see the next battle report. It's going to be you guys versus the Torian Concordat. Reynolds Ran Rangers get scrambled to try and stop you from getting into the, the Torian uh, uh, periphery like um, research facility and stealing stuff that you already have <laughs> to, to prove why you had it in reverse. Now, luckily, because it's interstellar travel, that you guys can just make up the timeline. It won't even oh, matter sure. when, when and how this happened. The Merrick's, Merrick's like dropship might not get back for like seven months. We stole it the day it. after we had it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can just say time dilation and basically all the problems get solved. Um, so we'll see you for that one next week. Uh, and we'll be back with more of the, the great tales of Snorts regulars. This is the fun of digging in the background. That's why I'm so happy we have the universe book. So we get to do these like little mini side quests that aren't in any of the like campaign books. I'm frantically reading copies of Shrapnel in my, in my bedroom at night. <laughs> That's right. Trying to get more inspiration. All right. Well, bye everybody. Thanks for watching another Battletech Battle Reports. Now, if you guys have an idea for an apocryphal or just small background piece of fiction you think would be fun to see on the screen, tell us in the comments and have a great day.